Hey, hey welcome, welcome back. back. This weekend is my birthday, and since last week you guys let me have some quality me time, this week, I wanted to do something that you all have been requesting for months. I see your comments, you've been typing them everywhere, that you would like me to follow along with a Bob Ross painting tutorial. Now, it's just gonna be a paint-in. You already know what's gonna happen. But I want to do this in the most respectful way possible because Bob Ross was a wonderful man. He actually means so much to so many people. So I don't just wanna make an abomination. I'm actually gonna try and make this a beautiful painting and I hope that that's what you wanna see because that's literally what you asked for. So I went to the YouTubes and I picked a beautiful Bob Ross painting that I would love to have in my house. I got everything that I think that I need. And I'm also gonna do a coat of liquid white, which from my understanding, no one really knows what that is, but it's a mixture of titanium white paint and some sort of oil. I laid my colors out on the palette. Bob just knows the colors off the top of his head. I've left them out in order so I can remember which ones are which. Now I am not a painter by any means. I think most of you know that. Is that too white? Let's put some more oil in it. <laughs> I didn't really watch Bob Ross, I'd say, until I was an adult. I watched a lot of like Mr. Rogers. After that, it was like TV off, go outside, play on a swing set, and shut up. I'm kidding. But as an adult, I've watched a fair amount of him. And you can tell from just like watching one video of his why he's such a loved person. He's a calming, warming, positive presence in a world full of chaos. And everyone remembers the person that makes them feel like that for so many people is Bob Ross. I promise you if any jokes I made in this video they're all purely at my ability or lack thereof and none would ever ever be directed towards Bob. Does this look right? There's a, there's a marble hair like right in the middle. Dear artists that have pets how do you deal with this? Basically just makes everything slippy and wet so that you can blend all of the colors on top of it. It's like an eyeshadow primer. I went ahead and wore a shirt that was already pre-stained with toothpaste, so I'm not gonna be upset if it gets paint on it. The one that I chose is called Sunset Aglow. Here we go. Welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. I thought today we'd do a painting I'm, I'm already that just has a lot of color feelings. in it, one that'll make you feel good inside. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need I got to paint all of them at the us. store. While they're doing that, they're let me all tell right you what here. I've got done up here. Let's do it. Let's we'll start with our little tiny two-inch brush today. <laughs> I'll go right into a small amount of the Indian yellow. Oh wait, a this is Indian yellow. yellow. Ochre. I have a fair amount of art fear. Can't make decisions that require like finality. This is super light. You gotta be gentle with just little amounts of paint. It's not an Aries painting. I feel like you can see my brush strokes and you can't see his. You can tell that my easel is very sturdy because it bounces every time that I do something. <laughs> now, without cleaning the brush, I'll go right into a little bit of yellow ochre. The same brush without washing it, which I love because that's how I do my makeup. This guy, just a little bit. I have art fear. Oh, there's one of the brush hairs in there. His just looks so nice and smooth and mine just looks like, like an actually hairy sunset. They have better brushes than you? Yeah, probably. I bought these in a pack for like $5. So some of his strokes are like a lot broader this way. So I'm gonna try that. <gasps> There's so many factors that I feel like I've goofed up on. Be careful with the bright red. It's okay. a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm gonna be careful, But it Bob. is so strong. Okay. Mm. One, two, but turn the whole Atlantic Ocean red. There's brush strokes. <gasps> It's a good thing that Bob's really positive all the time because he always tells you that you can do it. So I know although my sunset has racing stripes, I know it's gonna be okay. This is so blended. How do I get mine to be blended like that? Look at my brush. Why is my brush so angry at its light? So his red extends like across the length of this. So we gotta get some more red which is making me nervous because I'm, a, I'm just nervous in general. So what I've learned so far is that you really just gotta go for it. You can't do these nervous, hairy strokes. You gotta watch Bob and just really go for it. I'm gonna make it more red now that my confidence is building. Uh oh. <gasps> oh God, what have I done? Bob, I've blended too far, what do I do? Leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. I was getting a little worried there that my too much gene was gonna kick in and we were just gonna have a, a red Armageddon sky. But Bob reminded me to stay confident in myself. Let's see what he does. Let's, let's use a lavender color. We'll just oh. brush mix it here. I'll use a little phthalo blue. Okay. 
Alizarin crimson proportionately. How did he mix that without ruining this whole thing? Wait, hold on, Bob. Can you imagine doing this live, like on TV, and you didn't have YouTube? His came out like lavender, but mine's just sort of like, oh, I'm getting sweaty from the art fear. Just wherever, wherever. He's, oh, I've definitely done the liquid white wrong. It's dripping into my sunset. So he says, just do it wherever. <gasps> Maybe I'll touch a little phthalo blue and just mm -hmm. hit it here. Gorgeous colors. Shake it off. <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. To beat the devil out of my brush, I'm going to take it over to my garbage because I'm not in an art <laughs> studio, I'm in my home. So I will beat the devil in an appropriate place and not ruin my floors. There's purple everywhere. The devil is everywhere. I've resorted to just wiping the devil, which I think is still helpful. Power of Christ compels you. Did that help? Yeah, that helped. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna blend this so it doesn't matter if there's still a little purple in there. That's beautiful. <gasps> the devil's still in here. <gasps> Why do I always do it? Like I'm doing fine and then I just get one devil in there. There's a big brush hair right in the middle. Wait, Bob, I got red in the sky. Don't give up on me, Bob. I'm gonna go into the titanium white. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay. Hey. Don't go away. A little bright red with it. A little Shoot, bright red like a with firecracker. it. Firecracker, sparkler. Go up in here. Big old cloud right up in here. It just sort of floats around, has a good time all day. <gasps> he has a good time you know, all clouds day are like me. One of the freest things okay. in nature, I believe. So let them have fun wherever you want them. Let okay. them go. There. Maybe. I don't know. Wherever I want them. Just, just decide where these clouds live in your world, and put them in. I'm gonna get our little, our little. Oh my salt God! Is he done with the clouds already? A bit of white with it. And just go begin back, Bob. Hold on. In all kinds of. What is that? There they go. What is he making? There they go. Oh, Reach Bob. Oh, I'm scared. I have there. art fear. Something like that. Wherever. Wherever. This he just photos? like he like bangs these I out. Know. His and, uh, floating technique is. Off the charts. How does he like decide where they go? He has a vision of it. Do you have a vision? Do you see something? No, I see nothing all the time. Looks like somebody just punched a yellow pillowcase and a bunch of feathers came out. He just makes it look so easy and beautiful. Nice dark cloud in here. <gasps> a dark cloud? The contrast will, it'll sparkle. Okay. It'll absolutely sparkle. Ooh, he says sparkle. it's gonna sparkle, but I'm nervous. Oh. Just oh, he's got white on a knife. One. Okay, hold on. Because we don't make so mistakes. Cool. I can't oh, blend yeah, with this. I get excited when I see these. They turn me on. There. Oh, like very quiet little squirrel. Okay. Well, and he's showing quiet. his squirrels, which I deeply appreciate on a spiritual level. I'm going to try and fluff up my clouds with this little brush. Maybe I should have used this little brush like before. Or am I just making too many clouds? Help. Press one in the comments now if my too much gene is being too much. I think we're doing okay. Oh, he just has these like beautiful looking clouds. More lavender in the bottom. Let me just put that right down in here. Maybe we'll have a little mountain that lives wee wee back in the distance here. You already made a we'll mountain, Bob? Oh, okay, we'll Bob, hold on. I'm still mixing the paint, Bob. Far away, quiet little mountain. Quiet little dude, he lives wee Aww. out there. Mine's like a loud yeah, mountain, take though. Take some Prussian blue, a lizard crimson. Hold Quite on, more I, crimson the, blue. the mountain's still loud. Hold on, Bob. Black. I can't keep up. Oh, I need paper towel to get the devil out of this brush. Is he quiet? Oh my God, that is so aesthetically pleasing. Oh, oh, he's already got his knife out. Let's have some fun. You know me. I'm ready to have fun. I like trees. Let's I also tree. like trees. How is he Maybe? doing that so yeah. fast? Why not? Bob, I'm still on the first three. Uh, like, Wait, uh, like he just made land out of nothing. He's like a volcano. I want oh, this to be a dark I? green. Dark green. Dark, dark green, green, dark green. And put the indication here and there and there and here. Some I'm still highlights. mixing colors. How did he Same do that so fast? Here. He did this end part faster than anything I've ever done in my life. And then he took pants. his knife, which is somehow right magically clean again, and path. made a little path. I've certainly enjoyed our time together. And I hope you try this one from all of us here. I'd like to wish you happy He's done. And God bless, my friend. Still trying to figure out what he did. Well, I think that's it.
Bob Ross has absolutely no paint on his shirt, not on his jeans, not on his hands, and I have managed to ruin almost everything in this entire room. You know what I did? What? I put the water line under what he called the reflection. So it's reflecting a reflection up into the mountain. Why don't I fix that? That makes more sense, right? I, my painting had a fatal flaw in it. I'm gonna show mine versus his. It's not really about your ability. It's just about the freedom and the joy of painting, am I right? Bob Ross holds such a nostalgic and wonderful place in so many people's hearts that it is fun to see someone just recreate one of his paintings. So I think my too much gene really took over in a lot of places and I did put an awful, awful lot amount of liquid white <laughs> on the canvas before we begin. But other than that, he makes it really nice and fun and relaxing. And I also like, I wanted to do something nice. This weekend's my birthday. So I made myself a painting for my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. This was really enjoyable. Do you like it? Well, now we have a piece of art to remember this forever. Where are we gonna hang it? On the, on the kitchen ceiling. Oh, perfect. I was thinking the kitchen ceiling too. I know this wasn't too terribly exciting, but this is literally what you guys have been requesting since forever. So here is my version of Bob Ross's sunset aglow. I hope I did okay. And I hope that you know how much respect and love I have for Bob Ross. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out reviews every Wednesday slash Thursday. Um, can you hang it up somewhere now? It's wet. Yeah, but then it'll drip onto the wall and that'll be part of the art. No, yeah. that's not, no, I'm not doing Yeah, that. no, I I'm think not, that's no, good. I'm, not doing that. I'm absolutely not doing that. It's my birthday. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Bye.